The living room, a very important part of the home. There's a relaxing sofa you can put your bottom on. There's a window you can look through. And a games console you can play your favourite games on. But playing on a games console can lead to danger! Ah! You could accidentally poke someone in the eye with the controller. Ah! Ah! You could trip over a wire and fall in a strange position. Ah! Or I could get overexcited thrashing Zand and end up with a bout of severe hiccups. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's not very likely, though. What, the hiccups? No, thrashing me. Right, game on. He shoots! He scores! He celebrates! Ow, a carpet burn! I've got a minor injury. So how should you treat a carpet burn? Do you A, blow on your knees for at least five years, B, Put it under cold running water for at least 10 minutes. Or C, rip up all the carpets because clearly they're so dangerous. The answer is B. So, if you get a carpet burn, run it under cold water for 10 minutes. There you go, much better. Want to play again? Yes, but first... Ha! Nothing will stop me this time. So, if you get a carpet burn, run it under cold water for at least 10 minutes, and if you're worried, tell an adult. Ouch! Is everything? Yes, the cupboard of everything. Oh, yeah! <laughs> got one! This is Alex Corbisiero, England rugby prop. That's the position he plays. Get it? Well, it's very good that you're here, Alex, because I think you have an interesting thing about the cartilage in your ears. Yes, I have something they call cauliflower ear, which comes from playing rugby, specifically around the scrum, where the big guys get down and they push really hard against each other, and that causes rubbing and crushing on the ear, and gradually they get a bit thicker and thicker and start to look like a cauliflower, and that's why we call it cauliflower ear. If we compare Zahn's ear to Alex's, we can see that Zahn's is thin and hollow, but Alex's ear is a different shape and has a big, thick bit. And that's where the membrane that covers his cartilage, that supplies it with blood and nutrients, has been rubbed off in the scrum. The cartilage underneath it died and got replaced by thick, fibrous scar tissue. You don't need to worry if you play rugby. Cauliflower ear can be prevented by taping your ears back or wearing a special rugby helmet. I uh, probably should have done that, but... Uh... I'm happy with my ears still, and uh, my mum still thinks I'm pretty. Exactly, Mrs. Corbisiero. And so do we. Now, um, listen, this is a bit awkward, because we're, we're actually done with Alex now, but I don't, I don't know how to politely ask him to leave. You know what rugby players like? Oh, yeah. Rugby balls. Alex? <laughs> well, that did the trick. So, we've seen damaged cartilage and we've seen healthy cartilage inside our body, which acts like a lubricant, helping our joints move smoothly. But what would happen to our bodies if we didn't have any cartilage at all? Well, get ready to find out, Zahn, because you and I are competing in the Cartilage Lab Olympics. I will be playing for Team Cartilage. And I will be playing for... Wait, who am I playing for? You will be playing for Team No Cartilage. So, Zond, you're going to be wearing a very special outfit. Am I? You are going to be wearing a suit of armour. This armour will restrict Zond's movement and make him really stiff, which is what it would be like to have no cartilage. Well, at least it's the best I could do. Event number one, Ye Olde Limbo. Let battle commence. Battle commence! The cartilage between the vertebrae in my spine allows it to be super bendy, resulting in this fine limbo action. Well, you would say that. Whatever. Can you compete? No. Zahn's armour is forcing his joints to be stiff, just like they would be if he had no cartilage. So he's uncomfortable and clunky. What a donkey. And event number two, ye oldie basketball. Just look at my freely moving limbs. It's a speedy slam dunk. You are such a show-off. Right, move over. My go. I've got this. If I can just... Uh... Zand is slow and stiff as a board. With no cartilage, he can't even bend his knees, and he struggles to get the ball. 
Off with his head, I say. How did I do? It was a close run, things on. But the final score was 2-0 to me. So, we've shown you that you have cartilage all over your body and you can feel it in your nose and ears. And we've shown you that without cartilage, your body would be slow, uncomfortable and stiff. Right, Chris, that was fun, but this is no time for games. There are damsels in distress and I must hurry to rescue them.